What is going on guys and girls? My name is James and welcome back today to Roblox. How are you doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today of course it is time once again for some brand new Bee Swarm Simulator and today as well as doing a bunch of stuff on the map we are also going to be looking at a mystery and secret unreleased item that we have yet to see in Bee Swarm but was added to on its inventory over three weeks ago. Um, so yeah we're going to be doing a bunch of fun stuff here in this episode but of course we must shimmy on over here do the beast swarm model and three two one claim the hive how are we all today hopefully you guys are awesome so uh yeah basically this was one of these items that was you know sort of in on its inventory as of pre beesmus 2020 um but it was not in the game it is not in the game currently right now and i kind of wanted to share that with you guys take a little look at it and discuss what potentially this item could be now as well as that <laughs> I do owe you guys another crack at the snow bear. So I think it respawns in about 20 minutes or so. I will try and like show you the technique properly. And as well as that, I also want to show you how it works with the coconut crab because I basically use exactly the same method in order to take down the coconut crab nice and quick and get lots and lots of items. Uh, yeah, it should be good. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh my goodness, right. So... You guys know what time it is, and I have just looked right now, my, my, my camera's gonna go really funny and it's gonna go super strange, but I've just taken a look at the likes from last episode, and oh my goodness, did you guys all pop your super smoothies? Is that what you did? You popped a super smoothie and then hit that like button? <laughs> 11,300 big performance my goodness so last episode like we actually missed the light goal but that's okay that's fine that can happen um but the response to that was nearly doubling it for this uh for last episode which is just absolutely incredible so once again as always big performance big scenes thank you so very much that's incredible um yeah that's oh man <laughs> really really cool to see um but yeah <sighs> doubling it that's just insane I, I don't know what to do i don't know what to do um so I think last episode's like i was like what four thousand and we got eleven thousand which is absolutely madness um I, should we crank it up a little bit can we try and get five thousand in this episode um but yeah just thanks dudes amazing amazing okay right so absolute scenes aside as per usual um yeah <laughs> what we're going to do here is we're going to wait just a few minutes here for our snow bear to return. So I think what we'll do is we will do the snow bear again. And as I mentioned in last video, before I completely failed in my little demo, um, as of right now, level 18 snow bear, I can no longer take this guy down solo. So I think in another video, what we'll do is I'll probably do like a level 19 and then we'll come back for a level 20 video. Uh, and yeah, we'll actually get ourselves the snow tiara, which I believe is the drop from level 20. Um... I think so. Anyway, I, I did make a video on this, but there's so many bee quips, it's kind of hard to like remember them all. I need to go watch that video, huh? Um, but yeah, in terms of the other stuff, I am super close now to actually finishing the bee bear first part of the quest line, and the only thing that I need to do is I need to hit the gingerbread house two more times. Um, so everything else is done. I did the polar bear quest, I've done the werewolves, the vicious bees, all that kind of stuff. Um, so in another episode, really soon, we'll be handing that in. Oh, coconut! And we will be getting the rewards uh, for the first part of the quest line. So that's going to be cool. Uh, let me just wait a couple minutes. Ooh, okay, let's go and try to take down this snow bear. I'm going to try and do it properly this time. Oh, geez, I'm nervous. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're going to do the coconut crab instead. Do you know why? Because I messed it up again. <laughs> I swear to you, right? This is getting ridiculous. I just... It, the snow bear is a troll. I mean, is the snow bear on it in disguise? Is that what's happening? I, I don't understand. Like, I keep messing it up. Oh, there's a, there's a spike there. Okay, so yeah, I did do it, but I didn't do it right. And I'm like, you know what? If I'm going to do it right, I might as well show you how to do it right. And I keep getting it wrong. To be honest with you, though, it's not a big deal if you mess it up because you can just respawn it again. Oh, no. Okay, we're good. I was trying to charge up my coconut shield. But yeah, I messed it up again. That's twice in a row now. It's just embarrassing. <laughs> First, I can't count to five, and now I keep messing up the snow bear. Unbelievable. Well, I can show you exactly the same technique on the coconut crab. Um, so there is a little bit of trial and error involved. It doesn't work every single time. You know, things can get a little mad. But yeah, that... Right. The next video, I'll show you how to do it properly. Maybe. 
because I've wasted so much time. I'm going to re-put on my tropical drink. I'm going to re-put on my oil. And then what we're going to do is we're going to jump into the pepper patch here and we're going to collect a 10 stack of focus. So as soon as we collect the 10 stack of focus, then we're going to jump into the coconut field. And um, yeah, 10 stack of focus really does help because essentially what we're trying to do here is we're trying to have a massive nuke of damage right away, which will do loads of damage to the actual boss. So yeah, I'll show you guys in a sec. It's just getting embarrassing now. <laughs> okay, so we're up to eight already. Boom, let's go for the nine. And then, boom, there's the ten. We're going to jump in here straight away. And I'm actually going to spam my stingers to actually get our star saw. So if you don't have a star saw, that's okay. But I'm going to take damage. I'm going to get hit by the coconut crab. And as soon as I do that, I'm just going to keep an eye on my barrier. And I'm going to collect tokens. So here we go, three, two, one. My barrier is off. But as you can see there, we have done a bunch of damage. We have nearly actually taken off pretty much all of the coconuts crab damage in like five seconds. So it's obviously going to go a little bit slower now, but we still have our star saw rotating and then boom, that was a 27 seconds. Not my quickest, but you can see there what I'm trying to demonstrate is when you actually jump in the first time, you use the, the, the coconut shield ability to your advantage. Oh yeah, what I do here as well, by the way, is I don't just run around picking stuff up because I'm a little bit lazy. I try and wait for link tokens. I'll pick up that uh, gingerbread bear though. Yeah, I, I just kind of, I get a little bit lazy with it. So I, I kind of try and wait for link tokens. Although for some reason, there's no link token spawning. This entire video is just set to, ah, uh, there you go. <laughs> Everything's going wrong, help. So yeah, as I was saying, like the idea is to use your uh your your spikes um your stingers use your coconut shields ability and then use your vicious bee along with rage tokens and stuff to have this massive nuke of damage right at the beginning of the battle because for those six seconds you're invulnerable to the crab and you can get in there really really close and collect your tokens so that's the way that i do it anyway and i use exactly the same technique when taking down the snow bear but the problem is is that the snow bear sometimes wanders away from you so you might actually miss your vicious spikes uh, and yeah it's a little bit trickier to do but hopefully that's kind of an explanation. I think rolling in with a 10 stack of focus does also really, really help as well. And you can see that very, very quickly, we can take down big bosses. Uh, yeah, how many gingerbread bears did we get? Five! Ooh, that's good. So yeah, pretty much the same technique with the snow bear. I mean, give it a go. I would love to show you properly on camera, and I promise I will. But I use exactly the same technique here. I, I stand in this field. Oh yeah, by the way, always clear out your mobs beforehand because they can't get in the way and stuff. Um, so yeah, clear out your fields um, and then use the bamboo to actually get yourself... Well, you can use this. No, use the bamboo because it's closer to the spawn. Uh, get yourself your 10 stack of focus. Hit your spawn. Boom. Run straight in here. Stinger, stinger, stingers, whatever. Trigger your coconut shield ability. You're invulnerable, but keep moving because he will still freeze you even with the coconut ability. So yeah, keep moving side to side. <laughs> Try and do some damage. Right, okay, so now that that little demonstration is, is over, well, partial success, the coconut crab went well. Snow bear did not. <laughs> but uh, yeah, basically, I kind of wanted to talk about this image because I thought it was kind of interesting. And I thought as well, like, it kind of relates a little bit towards the, like, the next timeline of Bee Swarm and what we can kind of expect moving forward. So yeah, here we go. Basically, we did a leaks video. I think it would have been, yeah, early, no, mid-December, where we took a look at all of these weird decals. Now, of course, these turned out to actually be the bee quips. And, you know, originally we thought these were like gifts for NPCs or like decorations for a tree but it turns out it was the beequip system so yeah that was a really really big surprise and a really really cool one actually I love the beequips and how they work um, but there was one image that we looked at which has not yet appeared in the game and I'm kind of curious as to what you guys think it is. So this is the image here, and we actually looked at this when the first load of Bequip image leaks were released. Um, so you can see that the update date for this was the 12th of December, which was the same day when all of the other Bequip images were released. Well, most of them anyway. And yeah, it is a wreath. It is a Christmas looking wreath and it is red and it is green and it has some bells on and red ribbons. And this is not currently in the game. Now, you may think, oh, it's just a wreath, whatever. But the reason why this is interesting to me is because this was released in the leaks with every other one of the Bequip images and all of those made it into the game apart from this single item. So the big question is, why was this not released in the game? 
and what do you think it is? So I have two theories as to what I think this is. Oh yeah, <laughs> and by, by the way, I saw this really funny comment from last video, which was like, <laughs> are we talking? We were talking about the delayed update on that, and you know, we were saying that you know it is it is frustrating, it is, but ultimately we have to just you know give on it time, believe in him, support him, and you know he's going to release a banger. I'm sure he is, but. <laughs> <laughs> one of the comments is, well, there's a few of these comments, but one of them really la made me laugh. I was like, yeah, the update, basically the long and short was like, the on it is <laughs> the update is delayed from on it because he's very busy writing the next script for Spirit Bear. <laughs> Can you imagine if that was the real reason? Like on it, just sitting down, penning this like 5,000 page essay just to import into the Spirit Bear to troll every single player by clicking, 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 stop talking, stop talking, stop talking. <sighs> How much time does Onnit spend writing those? Because they're well written, but they're too long. They've always been too long. And I think now, to be honest with you, he's just putting the long ones in just to troll. Because everyone, like originally, when the Spirit Bear came out, everyone was like, why does she talk so much? Unbelievable. Anyway, <laughs> I have two theories. The first one is, I guess, the more boring one, which is quite simply, this is just another B quip that didn't quite make it into the game. Um, but there are like interesting things about that because I don't think on it would release or not release a B quip if it was one of the lower level ones. So, you know, we have like a bunch of the lower level ones like the scarf and the gloves and stuff. They are okay, they're pretty good, but you do have better ones at a higher level. But the reality is, is that we don't actually have that many high, high level B quips. We have the, um, the Beast of Tree Hat, which I think is 10. Yeah, that's right. And then, you know, the Paper Angel is, is 8. And then we've got a few in around that level. I think the Snow Tiara, I think it's 12, but I could be wrong. But apart from that, we don't actually have very many high-level B-Quips. So my first theory is that this is actually an unreleased but high-level B-Quip, which we might be getting at some point. And just based off the colors, not that I think this is true, but it's because it's red, maybe it might be one of the better items for a red b quip because we have the snow tiara which i think is pretty good for blue and white but i don't think we have like a super high level red one yet in the game i don't think so anyway um so maybe this might be a high level b quip which hasn't been released that might be good for red bees the second theory which i think is is slightly more fun is that on it did say that he wants to actually release a um a special custom bee quip for uh, the festive bee. Now, we have one of these already for the puppy bee, which of course is the reindeer antlers, and the reindeer antlers decal was leaked exactly the same time as this. So, on it always planned to use the reindeer antlers for the puppy bee, and I'm wondering if at that same time he also uploaded this image, maybe this was intended for the festive bee, but he never got quite round to releasing it. So he has promised that in the future update, there will be a special B quip item for the festive B to boost an ability, um, but we don't have that in the game right now. And maybe the wreath might be the special equipable item onto the festive B to change what it does. Now, obviously the, the reindeer antlers were an expensive item, so you could pay 800 Robux to get them, or you could also get them here in the bundle for 7,000 500 snowflakes and 150 bears <laughs> so it's not the cheapest item in the world and based off that logic if this is for the festive bee arguably a more useful bee out of the two then this might be an expensive custom item for the festive now here's the thing you're thinking well what would it do what would it possibly do for the festive bee well here's the thing right so if you look at the puppy bee you can see here that it already has you know a bunch of different abilities it has the puppy love and it has the fetch and the custom bee quit which is the reindeer antlers essentially takes the fetch and turns it into the reindeer fetch um so it doesn't necessarily change the function of the bee it just enhances one particular skill so if we take a look at the festive what could it possibly be <laughs> so this isn't guaranteed but this is just speculation the festive bee has three abilities so it has the red bomb pollen plus it has the honey mark token Tokens, and then the only one that it has which is really good that you know is custom is the festive gift so obviously every x amount of seconds it drops festive gifts in around the map and the higher level the festive be the more and the better gifts that you actually receive 
So the only thing that I can potentially think of is that maybe an item, not necessarily the reef, but a future item for the Fested Bee, will improve the drops that you get from the Fested Bee. That's the only thing that I can think it would really do. But the thing is, what would it even drop to make it better and make it worthwhile? In theory, <laughs> the only thing that the Festive Bee could really drop to make it better and functional and relate back to Beesmus 2020 would be either snowflakes or gingerbread bears. Now, the problem with that is that those items are great and they're very, very useful in the game right now. But what happens when Beesmus ends and you've got this bee quip on your Festive Bee? Are we still going to be able to use snowflakes and gingerbread bears? Are snowflakes and gingerbread bears still going to be spawning in the map? Or are those going to go when Beesmus ends? Now, when is Beesmus going to end exactly? Well, <laughs> currently it is set to expire in 37 days, which I would assume would be the 14th of February. I haven't done the quick maths on that. But on it said he was going to maybe extend it for a couple of weeks because of the delay in the next update. So technically, in theory, uh, we might have the end of Beesmus on the 1st of March. So is having a custom festive bee bee quip, which is enhancing our drops, maybe with special Beesmus drops, is it worth it for the sake of like a month of items? And is it gonna be useful after Beesmus ends? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Maybe it might give the, the festive bee a completely new ability. Maybe it might do something really special. Who knows? But it's kind of a case really of now, if you think about it, it's January now and the event is going to end probably on the 1st of March. So once you've got March, you then think, well, Onnit has to do other stuff in the game. He's promised a red and a blue elite HQ area with red and the blue uh, elite items. He's promised new mythic bees as well. But as soon as you get to March, you have like a month and then it's April. <laughs> And then April is is Easter. So is Onnit going to be involved in Egg Hunt 2021? Are they doing Egg Hunt 2021? Is Bee Swarm going to be part of it? What is Onnit planning for the Easter update? I would imagine right now he's probably not planning anything. I think he's working on the Beesma stuff. But you get really, really close then to April. And then you start thinking about, well, Mondo Chick, uh, Hostage Chicks, Commando Chick. What, he's gonna, what is he going to do? Is he going to be part of, of, of Bee Hunt, Egg Hunt? Is it, is it not? I don't know. So there's only so much time when you can actually fit these things in. So I think it's going to be a pretty hectic couple of months for on it. But I'm really hoping that instead of just us not getting anything, we will get like smaller updates, but more frequent to get everything that he wants to get into the game before Easter comes. Ah, my gingerbread's ready. Woohoo. <laughs> okay, so one more collection of this bad boy and we can finally hand in the last quest. So yeah, kind of interesting. What do you guys think that wreath is? Do you think it's just a, a normal bee quip? Do you think it's just a bee quip that he didn't get around to doing? Or do you think there's a little bit more to it? Do you think it's a special one that might come in the update too? I think at some point we will see it. We'll probably see it in update two at some point. But what it's going to be and what it's going to do, I have no idea. But hey, it looks cool. So yeah, unfortunately, I think that's going to be about it for this episode here today. But do not fear, we will be back very soon to hand in and chat to the mad, mad bee bear for the final time, for now. <laughs> it's gonna be sad. It's always really sad when you talk to an NPC for the last time, but we do have the second update coming. So I'm sure he's gonna say lots of other mad stuff and we're gonna have a beast one party. <laughs> but yeah, until then, thanks and see ya.